Catherine McPhee is singing her latest hit, sharing her long road to being comfortable enough to get in a bathing suit, and how Jeff Bridges blew her and the biggest names in music away during the remake of We Are the World. since her show-stopping performance on Somewhere Over the Rainbow on American Idol. Now she's a bona fide music superstar and a drop-dead gorgeous cover girl who starred on the big and small screens. Please welcome Katherine McPhee. <laughs> Say what? What I loved in American Idol is I remember always saying you had this beautiful, long, thick hair, and you've now dark it's just hair. dark, dark hair. hair. Now you're you're totally different. You look beautiful. It's why true. why the change? Well, I had a lot of changes. I mean, I made a completely different record this time around, and um, I think my record is was really for me about um, telling a story of transition in my life, and mm -hmm. and I think the hair just kind of went along with yeah, it. It's very <laughs> sophisticated. It's beautiful. One of the big transitions. I mean, you are on the cover. Of Shape magazine. Look how divine that is. <laughs> but you know, you've been very, yeah, hey. Not bad. Thanks. Not bad, huh? But you've been very open about your struggle with bulimia. Yeah. And you talk about transition. Well, not a struggle anymore, just to clarify. Obviously. Yeah. How um, did you get well, over it and get comfortable with yourself? Uh, well, you know, it's funny because the, um, the first time I did the cover of Shape, uh, I, had, I had mentioned it and then they mentioned it again because it's part of my story and I'm happy to be, you know, a great role model and things like that. But um, it's, it's something that's long gone in my life, so I almost feel like I'm a different person. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm happy to, I'm, you know, happy to be a good role model for people who are still struggling with it. And, you know, I was able to overcome it, and yeah. it's yeah. definitely something possible. Did you have therapy, or did you just, was it just your own determination? Yeah, um, uh, like, um, years, uh, I started years before I went on Idol, and Idol was really the thing that kind of helped me overcome mm -hmm. just, you know, giving something to, to have a goal, like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. thinking, okay, this is, I'm going to start my career and, and focus on things that are going to really motivate me. And, uh, and that was it. And this record has been a huge process for me and just kind of shedding that, that, that part of me, like the song I'm singing tonight, today is, um, for me, it talks about like saying goodbye to that old self, you know. Um, right. So it's, it's definitely very personal it's important yeah. for young girls to hear from people like you. I think. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of white noise out there in Hollywood, and I think you know girls can get a bad rap for not being good examples, and I hope that I can be. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you, you, have been, you have been on the big and small screen. You were in House Bunny with Rumor Willis and, and Colin Hank. And you also did uh, Ugly Betty and CSI New York. And then you just did Community with uh, Chevy Chase. How was it working with Chevy? He's funny. Chevy is wild. Um, he's, he's so much fun. Like, he'll just start talking, and you're like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> you know, you're not even like, sure what he's talking about. He just goes off on these crazy comedic tangents. But um, it was a blast. You also just worked with Jeff Bridges. You were part of the whole group that did the 25th anniversary. I, I did. It was, world. it was so great to see him, and that's actually some. Oh yeah, if there's some footage of it right now. The um, proceeds, we should say, for this one, for the album goes to the Haiti. That's some of uh, my horrible footage that I took on my oh, own camera. Phone. Yeah, it's on my cell phone. It was so funny. Like all the biggest stars that were there had their own phones out, as oh, if really? like you know you can think you think that some of us are kind of jaded being no. involved. In, but it was just such a cool experience, and to know that we're Who knocked doing. Who you out? Who was the one you like wanted most of you? Um, Barbara Streisand pretty much knocked me off my feet. I was like, wow, I can't believe she's here. Uh, but it was, it was so great to be a part of something that's history, but also making a difference. And so yeah. I was thrilled. Cara Diaguardi okay. did some, one of the tracks on your, on your new uh, CD, right? Yeah, yeah. It was How was she? Is she tough on you as she is with well, the uh, American Idol prospect, prospects? It's funny. I met Cara right when I came off Idol, she worked on my first record, and she kind of became my sisterly mother figure. She wouldn't want me to say mother, uh, but more of like a bigger sister to, you. <laughs> to me because, you know, I'd never made a record before, and she was with me through the recording process, and, and so we really became friends uh -huh. more than uh, working partners, and then she went on the show. It was like we reversed roles, and now she's... Well, uh, yeah. We want to get into yeah, your music, but she... very quickly, you want to wish a happy uh, Valentine's Day to your husband yeah. of two years? Have, where's the camera? Which one? <laughs> Happy Valentine's, baby. I love you. I see a beautiful oh, okay. ring there. That's gorgeous. It, thank Ooh. you. 
Have a great day. Take a little time to smell the roses. Enjoy the view. <laughs> Sunday, a screen makeover home edition is all new at a central time. Sunday at 9, 8 central on ABC.